It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, um, sorry. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling, living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Smelling up your bathroom. I don't know, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So, you're in luck. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. Ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the Why? Shouldn't we wait until we get there or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so... Tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. We spent five years. It's a... Uh... Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so... Hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. 
Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Yeah, sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. Being polite, you should try it sometime. Okay, just remember, aim to throw up in the water. Here's the smoke if you want it. You all right? <coughs> They're filthy. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm in flavor country over here. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, Dad, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh. Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> Uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... Well, no, it's... it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not that. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Well, how do you think I feel? My house just shrunk by half because my mom decided to get some in Florida. <laughs> no, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I heard about your mom. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know... We can... It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year Never under the command of Lieutenant before. James Earl Kind of creepy Blackman. in a way, right? On October yeah. 28th, 1943, I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. As well as 12 army Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Hello, kids. Look, the other guy
guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trolling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's the American way. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're impossible to get... No way, come on. Alex has always been a devout skeptic, even though the fourth grade field trip proved it without a shadow of a doubt. Oh God, whatever. So back up a second, who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll please. Jonas, did you know that little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah. And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. I'm not even sure yet, Ren, okay? I have no idea where I'm gonna go, so... Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I said my piece. <sighs> Sheesh. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. Ugh, I'm sorry. We'll stop. Yeah, this'll be fun, don't worry. Even if Alex is a listless drifter ruining her own life. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it.
Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Ren, relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> that's, um... I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but is she's... her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. We're it. What? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> hey, what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. Faster. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah! Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as- No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth, whoever All truth, right, uh, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna- I'll start, run. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, 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 I wanna hear- Okay, that's- Clarissa, you know what? 
Ask me something instead. Anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... <laughs> Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just say so. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... All right. Great, let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. And wait. Wait, that means you kill me? Out of everyone here. You're Hey, you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I said. Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your uh, Jonas. <laughs> yeah? Tell the truth. How do you really feel about your dad marrying my mom and the fact that you're now de facto organ donors? Well, unless you turn out to be crazier than you look. That'd be hard. I think it's fine. Only known her one night and is already fine with it. What a guy. Is it my question now, then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa, um, last person you made out with. Oh, um, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe, who's the last person you, uh, hugged and said? Ah, uh, great, this should be good. Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since, God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's death. I knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother, pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, uh... He, uh, seems okay, right? You're okay. Yeah, but, uh, thanks, I guess. I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so... Let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Clarissa, Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... let's not stop like this. We should, like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be pouty. Thank you. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever you're ready. John. Oh, what, their date? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Mm, 
probably a five. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Well, you can make the checks out to cash. We'll have an installment plan. Whatever it takes. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Me, me, me. Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Come on, Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. What? Jonas is gonna do it too, right? Jonas? Mi comida, su comida? Uh, no thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Okay. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. It's even cooler than I thought it would be. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds, like three years ago. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me, not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. So, yeah, it sounds, uh... It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last... No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant rabies-filled bat or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think... I think I mismeasured the magic. I think you mean brownie. I think you mean... Oh, uh, yeah. Ren. Hmm. Shana Fana. Forget it. <laughs>